Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. In this example, I'm going to show you how to upload a data file from your bank or from MoneyThumb into your QuickBooks desktop. I'm going to start with a file that I convert via MoneyThumb only because I need to for this example. Anyhow, so I might as well show you what I'm doing. Let me show you what I've got to start with. What I have is I have an export from my bank and I definitely could have exported this as a QuickBooks file, but I exported it as an Excel file for something else. So let's imagine you have an Excel file and you want to import it into your QuickBooks desktop. Well, the problem that I'm encountering is to import, I need to go files, utilities, import, and then web connect files. Um, web connect files are not Excel files. If I choose Excel files, let me just show you. My options are import customers, vendors, all this, but not banking. All right. So what I know I want to do is I want to convert my Excel file into a QuickBooks readable file, also known as a .qbo. I'm just going to drag and drop it from my downloads. I'm going to look at it. Yep, that all looks fine. Create QBO. Fantastic. It's now been created. I have a different video where I walk through Money Thumb in detail. Please take a look at that if that uh, was too speedy for you. But now I have a .qbo file. So what I can do is I can go to Files, Utility, Import, Web Connect Files, and then I can select my file that I just created. I can choose Open. It's going to say, do I want to connect it to an existing account or do I want to make a new account? I'll make a new account. I'm just going to wipe out whatever nonsense name it gave it. So I'm going to call it uh, Relay Demo Checking. Choose Continue. It says it's been successfully entered in my bank feeds, which is great. I'll give it a second to think. One thing that I didn't consider when I was converting this with Money Thumb is that I told Money Thumb my bank was Umqua because I was using that for something else. If you're using Money Thumb and if you don't change your bank, QuickBooks Desktop will, sh it will change the name on this dropdown to match the name of what it thinks your bank is, no matter what you typed in. But in any case, this is how I get there. Let me close this. I'm just going to show you one other way in case the file utilities is confusing or you might forget. A second way to import your data is to go to banking, bank feeds, and then you, instead of going to Bank Feed Center, you can select Import Web Connect File. The third option, and the easiest really for you guys, not for me, is you can just double click on the Web Connect file as long as you have QuickBooks open, and then it will import into QuickBooks. The reason that I don't do that is because I have multiple years and multiple editions of QuickBooks. And if I go to double click, sometimes my computer will get confused and think I want to import it into a different customer file or into a different version of QuickBooks entirely. So for me, I go the long route. For you, you can pick whichever the three makes the most sense. If you have any questions, if there's any videos you'd like us to make for you, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much.